Okay, so you ask an interesting question. You say you hate your house, you hate the city you're living in, and you hate life, and you're 12 years old. So, obviously I'm a little older than you. I'm 45, and I want to tell you a couple of things about life. The first thing is that the way we see life is not the way it is. The way we see life is very much based on our emotions. So when we're happy, we don't see problems. And when we're miserable, all we see is problems. And so what everything you're saying is basically that you're miserable. Now, it would make a lot of sense that you're miserable because you're probably in quarantine. And when you say you hate your house, what's really going on is you're being sick and tired of being stuck in your house. So the first thing you need to do is get out of your house from time to time. I don't know if where you are you can do that, but just go into nature as much as possible. Take walks. Now just getting into nature will change your perspective. You should try to, I don't know where you are, but as much as possible, take hikes. Be in nature. Be somewhere else. So you're not always in your house. And as your emotions, as your reality feels better, even, you see, the thing about life is, and this is a very important thing. When we're young, hopefully our parents take care of us so we're feeling good. And anything bad, it's like, oh, that's so terrible. But the older you get, the more you realize, you know what, if anything's good, you're lucky. And so the thing is that life is a balance between the good things and the bad things. It's never, ever, ever going to be all good. And it's never, ever, ever going to be all bad. But the thing is that if you want to feel good, you have to have some good experiences. So therefore, you have to make the effort to make those experiences. You know, you're not going to get those experiences on the internet. You're not going to get it through games. You're only going to get it really through three things. The first is every morning when you wake up, you have to count your blessings. The, the first thought of the day creates the train of thought. Um, gratitude improves your attitude. It gives you hope and happiness. So it's worth it. The second thing is you have to live for a purpose that is bigger than your body. If it's just about like a, I don't know, like a turtle, about eat, sleep, and whatever, it's not going to make you happy. Every person, every soul, you have been chosen by God to be on this planet. Scientists say we have a 1 in 300 trillion chance of being here. You're lucky to be alive. You were chosen to add light and love and goodness and kindness to this universe. So as long as you see yourself in that way, I'm chosen to add light, love, goodness, and kindness to the universe, then you'll do that. You'll make yourself happy by making others happy. People will see you as a good person. They'll love you. And love is something that anybody can give. Even a baby smiles and makes us feel good. So you have love to give. It's just a question if you realize that that's your mission. And when you do that, making others happy, helping others where you can, then you'll feel good about yourself. And the third thing is you need to get into nature. We're way too much in the city. Get into nature as much as possible. I'm sure there's a park, there's something around. Do that as much as possible, especially in this time, and you'll see yourself in a much better way.